What is up, everybody? Welcome to the first episode of my Let's Play of Pokemon XD, Gale of Darkness. I decided to play this because why not? I've never played it before, and I thought I'd give it a go. And yeah. So let's begin. Start. Yeah, we will. Uh, yeah, that's okay. We'll start a new game. I'm going to call myself Space. Let's click a gun on that. Yes. I thought it was going to crash for a second there. Alright, let's get into this then. Start out right in the action. Ooh, I can see some performance issues here. Oh, well. let's go Earthquake. Smash him up. See, we're better than him. Easily one. <laughs> All right, space. This will do for today. Yes sir, that was a well played battle. Space, your battle sc skills have improved by an amazing amount. I mean, it was impressive the way you handled that big bug hole of a bomb. You took command of it as if it was the same as your Eevee. Don't you think it's time that you consider raising other Pokemon besides your Eevee? Nah, go away. Uh, I'll go in here. Hi Space, have you finished training? Space, this is the director's office. Did you want to pay a visit to Prof Crane? Ah, 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 ah. You don't need to be that stiffly official, Lily. But. Oh, yes, I've heard the battle coach singing high praise about you, Space. I've heard that your battling skills have improved dramatically recently. That's outstanding, Space. I sure don't think I'd stand much of a chance against you. Ah, 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 ah. I wish everyone wouldn't drown them with such gushing praise all the time. My son and daughter will become spoiled rotten. There's nothing to worry about. Both Space and Jovi are wonderful kids. By the way, I don't think we've seen Jovi since lunchtime. Space, I hate to bother you, but could you go find Jovi for me? Space, I think you already know, but several research problems are in... Projects are in their critical phases in the lab. That's why your mother can't afford to make any off time right this instance. So please, honey, will you go find Jovi for me? Alright. Thank you, I'm counting on you. I don't think she could have wandered off too far, but just in case, check outside too. I'm sorry, Space. After five young, long years, this project is finally on the verge of coming together. But for that to happen... We can't do without your mother's expertise. Oh yes, I left the PDA in your room space. Go check it out. Alright, this is all boring now.
detail. Hey, there's something on the desk. Space found a PDA. Space obtained a PDA. I've got my email. If you're reading this email, then you must have obtained the PDA. Try out its many features. By the way, Adon was playing hide and seek with Jovi. Why not have a chat with him? And then I'll get an item. Three potions. And I'll go this way. I've already played this beginning section the other day, by the way. What? You startled me! Oh, hi! It's you, Space! It's me! Add-on! Wait, is that supposed to be Aiden? I feel like that might be what it's supposed to be. You're looking for Jovi? We're supposed to be playing hide and seek right now, but she isn't around anywhere. Or maybe she's gone off to Dr. Kaminko's manor. It's a big weird house southeast of here. Jovi's it in our game of hide and seek. I wish she'd find me soon, my back is starting to hurt. Wait, is that guy going to talk to us? Hi Space, the I'm just noisy, so I'm going to see what the commotion is about. The TV knows oh, they want so something big happen. Let's go see space. Alright, yes, this big. We bring you ONBS News. Authorities have failed to find any traces of the cargo ship SS Libra since its sudden disappearance off the coast of Garion Port. There has been no reports of flotsam that may indicate the ship sinking. The authorities appeared mystified by the way the ship vanished like smoke. There are reports that numerous Pokemon were on board. Concern is rising over their welfare. Cargo ship carrying Pokemon disappeared without a trace. Is that really possible? I'm finding it all hard to swallow. I'm going to save here just so the game doesn't crash on me. Running into the wall. Now I'll get a Dr. Kinko's house. Yeah, like there's some really, like. keeps, like, lagging out. And this is a really weird place for someone to live in. Like, I mean, it is so creepy. Like, what the hell, man? What is wrong with this guy? Oh yeah, I missed an item back at the house. Uh, let's go. Wait, who goes there? You must be a burglar. Chobin will put you straight. Don't you move. Chobin is the name, and Chobin is the number one assistant to Dr. Kingdom. Chobin is the only assistant, so Chobin has to be the number one assistant. Ah, Chobin's gonna get his ass beat. <laughs> gonna bite his ass. Yeah, baby. Ooh, absorb me, baby. Get shit on, kid. All right, that was easy enough. All right. You've made Chobin angry now. Even though Chobin lost, you're still not going past Chobin. Huh? Closer observation reveals that the subject is a child. Ergo, the subject is not a burglar. Aha! Chobin wishes you spoke up right away. 
or space, Chobin apologized for jumping to the wrong conclusion. I mean, a child could still be a bird, whatever. Whatever. Oh, big brother, what are you doing here? Oh, Joby gets it, big brother got lost, didn't you? Yes. Eh, uh, Joby thought so, big brother, you look dependable, but then you make silly mistakes. This big house in Dr. Minko... Was... Dr. Minko's job is to make incredible inventions. There's a whole bunch of neat machines like they have at the Pokemon HQ lab, you should come in too, big brother. Space, you're that girl's older brother. Sometimes she comes here. She wanders around everywhere. Sherwin finds it hard keeping an eye on her so she does not bother the doctor. Oh yes, Space, you will have to look at Dr. Kaminko's inventions. You will, yes? Okay, this way please. Hello, Jobin. So now I'll go in the house. Because there's nothing else I can Okay, Chobin will now show you the inventions of the inestimable Dr. Kaminko. Dr. Kaminko's inventions, it needs to be said, are number one in the world. Chobin is full of admiration. Oh, why does Chobin know that they are number one worldwide? That needs explaining? In the whole wild world, no one but Dr. Kaminko would invent such inventions. Therefore, they are number one in the world without question. Oh, Dr. Kaminko, is who, who is very really great, is inventing in that room there. Hi, Doctor. What kind of funny machine are you making this time? Jovi wants to know. Uh-oh, that girl is at Dr. Minko's side again. Jobin hopes she is causing no disturbance. Anyway, let Jobin acquaint you with some of Dr. Minko's greatest inventions. Let the VCR rule. It's not VCR. Dr. Minko's inventions are all in the world. Jobin's choice is this. Ta-da! The unhealthy sandals! The insole is studded with lumpy nubs that fail to stimulate every pressure point in a fabulous way. Keep wearing these and Chobin will guarantee painful feet and chronic worsening of your health. Chobin thinks it's superlative. Aha! Incredible, is it not? There is much more to learn than that too. The Doctor's inventions, which are fantastic, can be seen on this monitor. Chobin gives you permission to use this anytime you like. Alright, bye. I think I'm supposed to talk to our sister here. Is that right? Yes. Hi, big brother. This is a funny drawing. It's a really detailed drawing of a really weird machine. Huh? Are you going home already, big brother? But you just got here. Oh, Joby gets it. Joby has to show you how to go home, right? Okay, that's what Joby will do. Joby will take you home. Mimi, let's go home with big brother. Sorry for the terrible accent, guys. Joby join the party. Okay, let's move out. Joby will visit again, Doctor. Bye bye. So let's go through here. That's the end of that. Oh yeah, now we're gonna get an email. <sighs> Sorry for the spoiler. Dear Space, you appear to have travelled far in your search for Joby. Please come back to the HQ lab as soon as you find him. I need your help with something. See, that sounds shady as fuck. What is it? What is it? Email from the professor? He wants you to come home quickly. Joby is worried about letting you go by yourself, Brick Professor. Joby will come too. Let's go right now. Right, so. Right, so. Oh, yeah, I should have saved. Yep. Don't want to crash on me. 